Good morning everyone. In this video we are gonna show you how to change different colors in Power BI using two main methods. Bookmarks and also dynamic color switch. And here we are gonna break down how each one works, when to use them, and some cool tips. Let's go. Let's start with the most common method, the bookmark. Bookmark, same use of what you're looking into the dashboard. You can navigate between pages, show and hide visuals, and see many different themes. Like in here, you shall dark, light, and um, well. And also, you can do different scenarios like photography, sales, units. But for that, it's better to, sh to see the Pay parameter video in the way make a really good explanation. And here is how you can you go here to the view tab, enable the selection and the bookmarks. Click here add to create a new bookmark. The name that you want. What's visible at the moment is what you get sent. It's really important every time you're gonna make a change, click here here update the bookmark otherwise you're gonna lose all the work that you've done to simulate the teams in here to new selection pane go to even duplicate all the visuals manually apply different colors this option you chase for this one and use the selection pane to show and hide whatever you want in the bookmark and you're changing like this here we are hide this that is the pro that is visually rich and flexible. The cons is like it's really time consuming, it's too many objects in all the dashboard, it's scorching and saying it's a lot of information. Then if you want to navigate between pages, it's so easy like this. Power BI allows us to insert some bookmarks in navigation. So go to here. Okay, here, um, once we search the visual, we scroll down into the bookmark section in the visual formatting pane and select the bookmark group is here that contains all the different themes here of the page. That's it. That's the bookmark navigation view. And now, let's see what we recommend to do every time it's possible. It to use a color table plus dot. Instead of the ball. Well, to do that, we need to, well, first of all, we have to go to the page colors.com and take all the colors that we want. We take all these because it's more than executive and we like. Okay. Once we take all the, all the colors from here, all the X code, well, we create a manual table in here in our relay with the themes and the colors. We select, we create the theme. Lights, darks, on all the column, text, background, and date. And over that, we put all the information that we have in the Excel. After that, we have to write the tax machine. Well, we are going to use the yeah. column text, we go to send value, and the table that we already create. And that's it. Well, we update all these measures. Going into here in the object in the FX bottom. And this one works for text color, the background, the title, whatever you want. Except the limitation is here is that you cannot use it in columns, in, in lines, something like that. And the only thing that you need to put right now is the segmentation. Something like that. Okay. you select you hear that pane of light and dark. And that's it. When you change over here, like this and this, you will like be changing all the colors of the option. Both methods are really effective, but every time that you can, please use the dynamic color too, because it's easily to maintain, it's not so much work. And if you need to show different options, think about making the field parameter, the dynamic colors, making a combination. You don't look like it. Now, if you like this video, please shut it down up, like, subscribe, and give us a comment. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.